Okay, so some more inequalities to solve. So we leave the two, multiply out the brackets, you get 3x minus 6, and then 5. Now we are subtracting the x, but we are also subtracting the 6. So what's your sign here? Let's simplify this side. So we've got 3x, 2 minus 6 is minus 4. Here we've got a minus x, and then 5 subtract 6 gives us a minus 1. So now we want to get all the x's on one side, so if we leave the 3x and bring this one over, it will add. Leave the minus 1, take the 4 over and that will add. Now we haven't multiplied or divided by anything, so we don't need to consider changing the sign. 4x minus 1 plus 4 is 3. To get the x on its own, we're going to divide by the 4, we're dividing by a positive number, so we leave the inequality as it is. x is bigger than 3 quarters is the final answer. Moving on to the next one. Again, let's multiply out the brackets. So 1, subtract 4, subtract the x. 2, multiply out, so it gives you plus 8x minus 28. So simplify our sides, 1 minus 4 is minus 3, subtract x, and then we've got an 8x, and 2 subtract 28 is minus 26. So if we get our x's onto one side and our numbers onto the other, there are two ways of doing this. If we leave our minus x here and bring the 8 over, we subtract the 8x, leave the minus 26 and take the 3 over, so that becomes a plus 3. We have minus 9x, minus 26x, and then adding the 3 is minus 23. So now we divide by the minus 9. We divide by a negative, so we reverse the inequality. A negative divided by a negative is positive. And you can just leave it as 23 over 9. You don't need to change it. If you want to avoid a minus 9x, then at this stage we could have taken the x's onto this side and the numbers onto this side, but you would still end up with the same answer. Okay. Lastly, slightly different to all the others because this is not linear, this is a quadratic. And when you do core 1, you will do other ways to solve quadratic inequalities. But for now, let's just think about it in terms of GCSE maths. A common mistake is to square root both sides and then you are left with x is less than plus or minus 3. Now if we consider this on a number line, we've got a 0 here, the plus 3 is there and the minus 3 is there. So what this answer suggests is that any value below plus 3 but also below minus 3 would work. But we know, for example, minus 4, if we take that minus 4 squared, it would not be correct. So with this one, if we consider it just as inequality, square root both sides, so we get x is plus or minus 3, and then just look at our number line to see which answers would make sense. Well, if you think about squaring numbers, the numbers between 0 and 3 will all square give numbers less than or equal to 9, as will all of the numbers down to minus 3. So by looking at the number line, we can see that that is incorrect, and the actual answer is x lies between plus 3 and minus 3, inclusive because we are included in the 9. It's one set of numbers, so we write it as one inequality, and that's your answer.